Hey guys, welcome to this new video. So as you might know, last week was very sad because we had the news of Pierce Fulton passing away because of a fight with his mental health. And usually I wouldn't do a video every week because I do once in two weeks. But since this topic was really important to me, I want to talk about it in a video. More and more people around me are sad, depressed or generally just don't feel that good. And why is this? We're gonna take a look at two reasons and two, let's say, cures for those two reasons why you don't feel happy. So first of all, you don't talk to people enough. You can talk to really anyone that you believe will help you. Just open up, tell them about your feelings, your mental health. We are often afraid to talk about mental health with other people, but this has to change and it has to change quick or else cases like the one of Pierce Fulton will become more and more common. So find anyone who you really believe is mature and will help you and talk to him about your feelings. Why are you not feeling good? Why are you feeling good? What did you do today? And just have conversations like this. Ask them honestly how they're doing and just talk. It helps, trust me. And if you ever get in trouble, like you're very depressed and you are thinking about committing suicide, just call a hotline. There are a lot of numbers that have 24-7 psychological support. Board. The second reason is kind of individual. So, first off, you don't feel that good because you're not accomplishing your goals. For example, I want to get signed to a big label, I want to have a track on NCS. But to reach this goal, there are smaller things that have to happen. I have to improve my music, I have to finish a lot of tracks, I have to do lots of this stuff. and let's say six months pass and i take a look at my past six months and i tell myself well i didn't reach my goal of being signed to ncs i am not happy how can i change this how can i be happy about what i did in the past six months because i'm sure you all improved in the past six months you're all awesome people and even if this period didn't bring that much growth you always improve and always become better with time so how can i improve this unhappiness situations well first of all set yourself smaller goals and accomplish them and have short-term goals let's say have two collabs with other people learn how to mix better learn how to master better learn how to sound design completely dominate serum sound design and this kind of stuff really just can help you with your mental health because you feel like you've accomplished something and you will feel that you're happy because you're realizing that your goals are getting completed. Meanwhile, if you only have one long-term goal, which is super big and can take up to five years, let's say, if you have only one big goal, in the short term, you will feel defeated you will feel like you did nothing and you don't want to feel this way because this is the way the depression, anxiety and this kind of stuff is generated because you're unhappy, because you feel useless, because you feel you're not working towards your goals, you feel you're never gonna do it. But that is just not true. You have to change the way you look at the world. And if you change that, if you can set for yourself smaller goals and complete them, then you can be happy and you'll feel that. So yeah, in today's video we talked about two things. One was kind of collective, you have to have someone who you trust. Online, IRL, I don't care, just have someone who is really good, have a really good friend and talk to them. Get in a call on Discord and tell them how do you feel, what did you do today, why are you happy, why are you not happy get emotional support and second is more of an individual thing which is set yourself smaller goals that you will complete on the path to your big goal because if you only have the big goal you will feel defeated in the short term meanwhile if you also have smaller goals you will feel good because you did some of those small goals and you won't feel like you did nothing to work towards your big goal. So what we can do is the side projects did a little challenge last week which was about 
reaching out to at least one person and asking them how they are honestly doing and ask them to also forward it to someone else and ask someone else how they are doing so i have created a little graphics it's on screen right now you can download it in the link below and you can put it on your instagram story with the hashtag speak up and also i would appreciate if you could do this challenge and spread awareness about mental health because it really isn't a taboo speaking about your own feelings and emotions shouldn't be weird it should be completely normal and getting emotional support is something not for the weak it's for everyone hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one